Uh, ah, jeez, uh, Frank. Ah, jeez, what time is it? Ah, oh, jeez, I slept in so much. Okay. Well, let's see what latest stories there are on uh, Google then, shall we? Let's see, what do we got? And more Marvel stuff, more Marvel stuff. What's this? The really awkward place Doctor Who fans have asked David Tennant for autographs. Was that like in the bathroom or something? In, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm curious. I don't have time to read it, but what? <laughs> well, I wasn't far off, was I? Now, pet. Why is it so. I saw a screwdriver that's kind of useless now that I can do everything with my fingers. I don't know, whatever. Mainly, I also don't have my saw screwdriver at the moment. I left it somewhere else. Oh well. Okay, I assume. Now, apparently, there has been some commotion because a Doctor Who Series 11 clip got leaked online. Oh my god. Do you remember back in Series 8 when, like, like the scripts of like the first five episodes and then the entire episode of the first three were like just leaked online for people to see and like not a, a couple of people saw it and then like I remember Project Free TV you remember that website is taken down where I am but like it may be where you are too but it's like it was a website where pretty much you could find almost anything like you could just watch anything for free there you just have the occasional ad kind of like this website but anyway so but um, I remember, and then it said Series 8 Episode 1 like a month before it actually aired, and then I clicked on it, and it was in black and white, but it actually was literally Series 8 Episode 1 a month before the actual episode aired. I watched like the first 10 minutes, and then I refrained myself because I wanted to save the experience for when the episode was actually airing, but now a 30 second clip has leaked online and fans have somehow lost it, and I have no freaking idea how. Why would you be freaking- Okay, yes, I know that this video is pretty late, and did to be talking about a matter like this, but just... I don't get a how. So, like, apparently the BBC took it down. I downloaded it on my- I downloaded it, I downloaded it on my phone. So now I can, like, watch it free at the disposable. And unfortunately, I can't show it to you, otherwise, you know, probably, like, BBC is gonna see it and be like, oh. but anyway, so um, basically it's just a 30 second clip and it's like the doctor, female, is on like a train and then the two new companions, well two of the new companions, like, the, like, I don't know who they are, they're not Bradley Walsh, they're the two other people, but the female's just like, uh, what, what are you doing? We have a potential crisis, and, and, and then she and she calls her madam, and then she's like, madam, why'd you call me madam? And she's like, because you're a woman now. I mean, she, not now. She just says because you're a woman, and she's like, I am. Well, that's pretty interesting. And 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 that and that and then she's like, does it suit me? And then, and then she's like, what? And then she just walks by, and she's like asking questions about the abandoned train, I guess that they're on. She's like. What's your name? And she's like, I don't, I can't remember. And she's like, you don't know your own name. And she's like, of course I know my own name. I just can't remember. It's right there on the tip of my, uh... And she turns around, she looks at them, and she's like, what's this? He's like, tongue? She's like, tongue, smart boy, biology. Are you a doctor? And, she, and he's like, no. She's like, shame, I've been looking for a doctor. But anyway, so, um, first of all, might I say... And then there are also these pictures of, like, the doctor looking at this sonic screwdriver, which I guess she built because she doesn't have a TARDIS anymore. And, like, judging by the fact that she's, like, in a construction outfit and wearing nerdy glasses, it looks like she did just construct it. And it glows red like the War Doctor's Sonic. Get some new colors in, okay? I'm tired of this red, blue, green stuff. L light up some more. Get some purple. Get us some yellow. Even the Master's laser screwdriver. Sure, the screwdriver itself was yellow, but it zapped green. Anyway, might I just say, thank the frick god that so far it doesn't look like the Doctor is becoming feminine. Because please don't let there be some sort of stupid, idiotic character growth that makes the Doctor feminine. Please, Chris Chibnall. I know that it's kind of too late for me to ask that, and I know that you're not going to be watching this video anyway, but like, I know that you probably already like, got at least most of it filmed, and I was like, editing it and stuff like that, but just, like... I can get that the doctor's a woman, 
But I'm sick of this world thinking that, like, men should act like this, women should act like that, men should wear this, women should wear that. This is acceptable for a man, but not for a woman. That is acceptable for a woman, but not for a man. No. You're saying that you want gender equality, but you're so obsessed with it that you're just making... I gotta say, though, I got, I got a lot of hope when I saw her actually acting like the doctor and actually acting like she would even if she was male. And the fact that she had those nerdy glasses on and construction outfit, she actually seemed like a tomboy, I think is the correct word, which is uh, when a girl acts a lot like a boy. I don't agree with that. Apparently there isn't a word for a guy who acts like a girl because a girl acting like a boy can be worn in pride, but a guy acting like a girl is worn in shame. But anyway, um, yeah, so sounds great. As for the people who are saying, I can't read the list of your line, or anyone who says it, anybody who says a little bullet, is just the best person who will call you a bullet. Shut up, okay? I don't freaking care. It's a 30 second long clip and two pictures. Who cares? First of all, I, like, if you watched it, then you must have clicked on something. You must have seen an article or something that said new leaked footage and it was your choice that you clicked on it. I'm pretty sure that no one, like, burst it into your house, grabbed your face, held your eyelids open, and forced you to watch the 30 second long clip. I highly doubt that. I'm pretty sure that you watching the clip was your choice. I'm probably gonna get backlashed for this, but I'm pretty sure it was your choice, okay? And plus, who cares? It's a 30 second freaking long clip, and like, nothing happens in it. It literally spoils nothing about the actual story. They're on an abandoned train. Is it gonna be like midnight again? Probably not. I have no idea what the story is gonna be about. All that I know is that the doctor is not completely feminine now that she's a woman, which is what I really, really like. But, like, why are you obsessing so much over this- I, I know that you're not obsessing, but like, it's a 30 second long clip and you guys are freaking out about it. It makes absolutely no sense. Not to mention that when it got leaked, it was June 25th, and that meant that the last time that we saw a Doctor Who episode was in the Christmas special, December 25th, which means that it had literally been six months since we have seen anything Doctor Who-ish. I think that us pay- like, one person said, like, you're, you're ruining it for all the fans who kept their patience. No. We've been patient for six months. I think that we've deserved a little something. It's not like we were even given a trailer. We have been given literally basically no information except that it's going to come out in October 2018. Oh my god, that information is so great. Oh my god, that's going to keep my brain off. No, I don't care. I want to see something. Like, I would have felt better if, like, the BBC leaked, like, faked leaked it, this information on purpose, like Marvel just did for Tom Holland accidentally revealing the Spider-Man Homecoming 2 title, when it was not, it was just a joke, and they decided, okay, let's, let, let's show them the title, and we'll pretend that Tom Holland spoiled it. Yeah, but, like, like, I think that we've deserved a little something. I think that we've deserved a 30-second long clip that does not give anything about the actual story away. Of course, by the time that I'm uploading this, it has been a while since the leaked thing has actually come out, and... Anyone who's watching this who is freaking out about the leaked footage, can you calm the frick down? And just the next time that you see an article saying leaked footage, or you start watching something and you can see five seconds in that it's clearly Doctor Who, maybe you could shut up? Because, okay, the only way that I can see you actually defending that is by saying that you watched the clip without realizing it was Doctor Who, and then realized it was Doctor Who afterwards. To which case, that just furthers my point, that the clip reveals nothing about the show. So shut up, and just enjoy the fa Well, I mean, if you just found out now, then apparently the clip is taken down, but I just... Yeah, what I told you happened is basically what happens. But... For all those who have managed to download the thing, sounds great. Great. Trailer probably gonna drop soon, hopefully. Otherwise, you know, I'm glad that we had that 30 second long clip that everyone's freaking out about. Oh yeah, anyway. Sorry, that turned into a 
much longer ramble than I was supposed to. But anyway, so thank also, you all for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, sign, so only enjoy it. And if you didn't like, please do dislike, sign, so only enjoy it. Leave a comment below if you liked how life this feels awesome, gets motivation and encouragement. If you didn't like, please leave a comment below. Say why you didn't like this. I will improve for next time, otherwise, it won't be able to improve. And I'm just going to treat it just like it's a four like. And subscribe so that you know when my next video comes out. Thanks again so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.